okay so i'm going to diagnose this uh, fan that doesn't seem to be working uh this fan has a light and a fan combo and the uh, lights uh the original fan came with incandescent bulbs but i used led bulbs a dimmer function doesn't seem to work on this uh, on these bulbs even though they're dimmable led bulbs maybe there's some kind of uh, circuit in line that prevents dimming to work but anyway so the light switch is just a regular on off light switch without a dimmer but the fan has a dimming speed control which seemed to work and in addition to that the fan also had these uh, individual controls on the fan and the light which uh, I think this control three speeds of the fan and the light may have controlled three brightnesses or something like that. So anyway, uh, I'm going to try this out. These are smart switches and this stopped working a couple of weeks ago. It's summer. The air conditioning is on, but it always helps to have the fan working for the air conditioning to be more effective. So... This is the light switch. It's simple on off switch, smart switch. This is a dimming fan switch or ceiling fan uh, dimmer. Uh, it's supposed to work for ceiling fans too. So anyway, let's try this out. So if I turn this on, I do get the lights working. Uh, turn it off. Lights are off. But the fan, on the other hand, if I turn it on, actually now the fan is working. It wasn't working before. See how you can see the speed increase of the fan. So that's good. Not sure why, but it wasn't working earlier. Maybe I had pulled this down a bit and control the speeds of the fan. But let's see if it works at the high speed right now it's a little less than the high speed but I increase the speed to the high speed okay so that seems to work too so that's good news I didn't need to diagnose the problem I'm not sure what happened or why the switch wasn't working but now it's working and if it wasn't working, what I would have done is uh, look through. I have a complete wiring diagram of my home. This one shows what light switch controls what outlet or what device. Like this switch controls this fan, for example. This is the second story. Uh, this is the first story of the home. I have very detailed diagrams of all the different uh, you know switches and devices and what have you there's an AC unit I have marked where the AC unit is uh, as the microwave outlet went it just helps me when I want to uh, also mark the water heater outlets secondary outlets on the side of the home at the bottom and then I also mark the water meter so things like that it just helps then I mark external lights or photo cell control I had replaced these photo diodes which had failed earlier so anyway oh, all this is very helpful and then I also have this diagram for the same floor plan in the house that shows which sub panel number is connected to which circuit. So for example, if I wanted to, you know, replace the switch, I needed to turn off the power to this particular circuit, then I would refer to this diagram. I had marked each uh, with a number and the number corresponded to the sub-panel um, switch 
so for the second floor for example second story um, this was the room this is the room where I'm standing in right now and it would have either been sub panel number four or sub panel number three most likely sub panel four because I'm standing on this wall this wall is uh, this wall kind of so it would have probably been this number four and if I go down uh, to the okay the other thing I want to check is if the fan and the light both work together so I'm going to turn on the light too yeah the, the fan and the light are both working so that's good now I'm going to go down and three or four is the sub panel number and let's see what the builder marked those as uh, I'm pretty sure it would have been marked as bedroom or master bedroom or something along those lines. So it's uh, three and four. And three is marked as smoke. So smoke detectors. And four is marked as bedroom, but it didn't say which bedroom. And this house has two master bedrooms. Five is the bedroom downstairs, and four is the master bedroom upstairs. So three and four is how they've marked it. <laughs> 